about the Ghana Water Company Limited says it plans to acquire the latest technology to help detect the quality of water flowing to homes. According to the company, this will help ensure that only safe water is made available for consumption. Head of Communications of the Ghana Water Company Limited, Stanley Marty, made this disclosure at the 21st International Congress of the African Water Association, AFWA, and the 7th Fecal Sledge Management Conference in Abidjan on Tuesday, from where Anondame reports. Joy News has reported on a number of cases where some pupils miss school or report late to school because they have to work long hours in search of water. Some teenage girls have also had to forfeit classes when they are menstruating because of lack of sanitary pads and also lack of water to keep them clean during the period. Prime Minister of Côte d'Ivoire, Patrick Archie, who does not think scarcity of safe water should continue to be a problem in Africa, outlined what he called the panacea to get and save water to all homes ahead of the 2030 declared targeted year. Africa must prioritize building appropriate structures for the treatment and distribution of water. There should also be proper use of waste for renewable resources so that it can be used as energy in the rural areas. AFWA President Dr. Sylvia Mugisha hammered on the importance of governments focusing on acting on recommendations from such events and not just outlining them in their policies. Our actions have the power to change the African water and sanitation sector and inspire others in our lives to get up and take actions too. I want to suggest to all this gathering two five top focus areas we can look at. One, technological innovation and there are significant financial and technical returns that, that will accrue from investing in this area of technology innovation. Two, evolving sustainable infrastructure financing options, including use of corporate cash flows to access financial markets. Three, strengthening people and systems through a plethora of productivity management arrangements, leading leadership and management competencies and talent identification. Four, streamlining corporate governance and enabling legislation. And finally, inculcating a strong continuous improvement culture through relevant capacity building Officials of the Ghana Water Company, who were at the event to showcase projects they are conducting in rural areas, and also who investors, shared with join you some new initiatives they had picked from the conference that will help them better improve on their production and distribution. Stanley Marty is head of communication at the company. So we are, we are picking on equipment that we can use in monitoring uh, um, water quality in real time. So we measure, we'll be measuring uh, the raw water quality um, and then at every stage of the production process till it gets to our homes. So we are, so we are, we are in negotiations or in discussions with companies that can help us uh, 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 mount uh, technology that can help us get all this information in real time. The ceremony ended with a name change from Africa Water Association, AFWA, to Africa Water and Sanitation Association. From Abidjan, I am Hannah Odame for Joy News.